preachers talk about the Holy Spirit. Listen to Kenneth Copeland or Joe Osteen or Benny Hinn or Jimmy Swaggart or Judge Joyce Meyer or Jim Baker or Catherine Coleman and count the times they say the Holy Spirit compared with the Lord Jesus Christ. How do you know when the Holy Spirit is at work? When He's bragging about His school, His enrollment, His dead foundation, His attendance, His building? No. When the Holy Spirit is talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. Look with me in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. <coughs> 1 Corinthians chapter 12. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 3. Wherefore I give you to understanding that no man speaking by the Spirit of God called Jesus accursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Listen, the Holy Ghost doesn't talk about the, the, the Holy Ghost. He talks about the Lord Jesus Christ. And you can go over there in Acts chapter 2, verse 32 and 36, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 10 and 12, and 1 John 4, 1 to 3, and 13 to 14. Now, this is the last thing. I want to get this before we close. Look at, it says there, But whatsoever he shall hear, The Holy Spirit inserts His limitations on revelation. Let me say that again. Here the Holy Spirit inserts His limitation on revelation. The Holy Spirit is not going to go out on a limb apart from the, the Son and the, and the Father. I watched, right before this last election, I watched a bunch of videos, and I was, I was nervous about the election, and, and I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted that guy in the orange, the orange face and the funny hair to win. I really did. So I'd be scouring the YouTube, and there'd be these Pentecostal preachers. God, the Holy Spirit has revealed to me that Trump is going to be the next president, I'll say. Just be calm. Don't worry. I mean, and it just wasn't one. It was a whole bunch of them. The Holy Spirit revealed nothing to them. I mean, the Holy Spirit revealed to me to invest in the stock market. <laughs> The Holy Spirit told me who was going to win this war over there in Russia. Listen, I tell you this. If the majority says this guy's going to win, he's going to lose. Just to spite him. <laughs> you say, boy, God's mean. I say, yeah, he's, he, 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 he'll, he'll, he'll set you up. I mean, uh, uh. The Holy Spirit told me it's going to be a cold, cold winter. And we have the warmest, wettest winter in, in, in known to man. Or there's going to be, oh, the Holy Spirit told me and December will be the start of the Civil War in America. The only one true interpretation of the written word is, is, is the Holy Spirit. His his. His boundaries, the Holy Spirit's boundaries, is in this book. It doesn't go outside this book. It's, this is his limitation. His limitation is this book. And he's not going to tell you anything contrary to this book. I mean, there's no... And, that, and, and if he does, that's private interpretation. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. The... The Holy Ghost, as He moved holy men to write the words. Genesis chapter 40, verse 8. Daniel chapter 2, verse 38 and 30. And John chapter 16, verse 13. These so-called holy men today are not the holy men of biblical times. Judge Rutherford was not a holy man. Uh, Joe Smith... Uh, Mary Baker Eddy was not a holy woman. Uh, Pentecostal preachers are John Campbell... 
Bible is self-inter is a self-interpreting book. All right, brother.